part two, part two, part two. I have to get a little refreshment. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Mm -hmm. Welcome to part two of the Junior High School Trilogy. <laughs> another video and if you're new today I'm Crystal with a K it's nice to meet you <sighs> so everybody um I hope you guys watched part one if you haven't watched part one you can I advise you to watch part one before you watch part two so you know I mean they don't link together but you know it's the trilogy it's all in the same the people in the same you know junior high school so it's what I mean. today I'm coming with you with another story from somebody in junior high school um this one I'm gonna talk about is the best friend kind of yeah so this was one okay I'm gonna get straight into it before I get straight into this make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't. Also, hit that notification bell. Please hit that notification bell so you can be notified for when I make my next post. This is this, okay? But subscribe. So, this is going to be a video about the bestie. So, the bestie, um, me and him, you know, we, 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 we was cool. It was a bunch of us. It was like a good four of us, maybe five. That were really 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 close like close to the point that we even chilled outside of school i don't want to get too much into a description because just in case some people <laughs> may know them and i don't mm, you know some people may have just went through things for an experience and you don't want to fuck up their life you know especially the one that they live in now and this is you know i have th i had a lot of thoughts of this person when I was in school. Yes, I, I I can admit I've had, you know, little thoughts and feelings for moments, but for the most part, for the most time of school, they were just, you know, we were just friends. Like I seen them more as a friends, you know. Um, we both like boy bands, like me and a specific one. Both like boy bands. We each like had something we had in common. We both like to dance and all that stuff. It, it, you know, whatever. I don't know. In this school like I said, it was it was a really 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 crazy school. He was more like he was friends with. He started to become more friends with someone that I went to court. I basically went to court for because of this guy because he was like you know touching on me. Not not talking about my friend. Talking about the person my friend wound up being friends with. Um. But they lived closer together. But this person, like, like he was like touching on me behind the auditorium stage and touching on a lot of other guys too at that time. And you know, a lot of people band together and told the parents, you know, all because I am attracted to men don't mean, and that's what a lot of people need to realize. All because we're attracted to men does not mean that it's okay for every man to touch on us. That does not mean that we're attracted to every single man. Like, we have types. <laughs> like, I like I, I don't know how else to put it, plain and simple. Like, we have a type. We have a type of dudes. Like, anyway. A bunch of her parents band together and we wound up taking them to court and all that stuff because it was just a little, doing a little bit too much. It was uncomfortable. I felt a little bad because I know I guess the person was just going through what they were going through, but they were very much just like, you know, straightforward with it or whatever. It was just very weird to the point that we had to, like no matter what. The friend that I'm close with, 
I was wishing it happened, not, you know, the court situation. I was wishing at that time that me and that person had that kind of interaction. But I was a little jealous when they started getting more close. So I started being more close to other best friends of mine that was there. It was a whole big thing. But all in all, I was just saying that to say that me and this person had a real good close friendship. Uh, we experienced a lot together. Um, we even was friends even after we left the school. I, I, I'm not sure if we're friends to this day, I hope. <laughs> but ever since the situation, we haven't spoken. After junior high school, like I said, we were friends. We hung out. I introduced him to my friends that I wound up making in high school. We all hung out and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> we were cool for a while until the point where he became, he started becoming cool with other people, which always happens inside my life. Um, it mostly happens with the girls, but he was like one of the first guys what it happened with. But all my life, when I try to be friends with girls, they always, with cis women, they always like wind up like choosing other people over me. Like I'll be, I'm like one of the most loyal people. If you ask me something, I'll tell you. But the cis girls will always choose someone else before me. Like choose another dude before me. Choose another cis girl before me. Like. And it just came to a point where I'm just going to be me. He wound up getting closer with my friends than I was with my friends. And, you know, that was that. So then I started hearing through the grapevine because, you know, at this time, I'm going through my transition. This is around the time I first started going through my transition. Like, literally just popping pills, you know, my first couple of pills. And I'm already hearing other girls that had experiences with him. And I'm just like, how you had, how am I hearing you having these experiences with these other girls? And you didn't, you didn't even tell me, like you didn't even come to me, like you didn't even tap in over here. Like, what's the, like, what's going on? Um, I kind of figured it was probably, maybe he wasn't comfortable. Maybe he just seen me as a friend. Or, you know, maybe I just wasn't, you know, his type, you know, a lot of things. I never put him on blast. I never confronted him about it. I would never do that. So I just let things be until somebody's ready to talk to me, you know, even though I am in that lifestyle. Um, eventually, years down the line, also, again, this is around the same time with the first one from junior high school. Um, the popular guy. So this is after the popular guy. When I went back to, you know, my hood. When I was back in my hood. Uh, so I was more comfortable with this one because we was cool. He knew my family. I knew his family. This and that. And we're older now. You knew my friends. You became closer with my friends. And, you know, I heard this and that. So we're talking online. And then you finally expressed to me how, you know, what you like, how you're feeling and everything, which is cool. You finally expressed it. And I'm just like, and I, I, I told him, like, you know, I feel a little hurt that, you know, you couldn't come to me. Like, I'm, we're supposed to be cool. We've been cool for so many years since we was kids. Like, why couldn't you just, like, you know? And it was, like I said, he was nervous and I, you know, bring it up and, you know, especially being cool with other people that I knew and, you know, people that I knew had, like, mouths, like, cis, a lot of cis girls like to just gossip. Once they find out that tea, they're going to tell everybody else, you know, even if it's not even a full truth. <laughs> I heard other things as well, but... It didn't seem like him. And when I heard that he did crack. 
Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? It didn't seem like him, so I never really believed it. Um, he, when I see him and whenever I hung out with him, didn't look like it. Um, yeah, none of that like ever would have passed my mind. I ignored all of that because the girls talk to, you know, you know, my girls, my trans girls, I, I know they talk to. They like to exaggerate some shit too as well. So I ain't gonna knock that. I always see things for myself. So he wound up coming over. I was more comfortable with him coming over, like I said, because we knew each other, we knew each other family and all that stuff, da da da. And we're chilling and everything. And it was cool. You know, it started to feel like old times. It was a little nervous because we kind of like expressed a lot prior. So it was kind of like that little elephant but then it kind of broke through once we was like making out and stuff and reminiscing and laughing. So when it got to do what it do and all that stuff, you know, the touching and all that stuff, you know, it started getting, we started getting aroused. And for some reason, everybody that I took, well, only these two, the popular guy and the bestie, both verse, you know, so I'm with it. So I'm like, okay, this is about to be another experience. Like, I, I just must be in luck. Like, <laughs> this is just like, uh, 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 no, no, no. So he was like, I don't want you to be mad or anything. I want to be able to express, you know, to you. And also, I'm like, no, you can talk to me about anything and this and that. So I'm thinking he's going to tell me something, you know, about, you know, his sexual experience and all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, what is it? And he's like, basically, I'm, let me stop being around the bush. He wanted to smoke his crack. I was like, what? He had the whole pipe and everything. And I'm just looking like, did you just bring that up in here? Like, I, did you really bring that in here? I said, no, you're, you're not smoking that in here. You're not, you're not smoking that in front of me. I'm not getting secondhand crack. I'm, that's not happening. I'm sorry. You know, from there, it, it kind of just like, you know, threw me. I still didn't want to be rude or whatever. I told him, listen, you can take this spray, this perfume or whatever. You can go on a staircase you can do what you need to do. But I don't even want to smell it. And there's no offense. I'm not going to knock you for doing what you want to do and all that stuff. I already know your personality. I know how you are. I would have never expected it. And I honestly heard about it. I didn't believe it was true. I heard the girls was telling me they was running trains, like, to be honest. But I wanted a ticket. I wanted a ticket. Like, go in the staircase, do what you gotta do, spray yourself, you know, eat a mint, let's come back. So when he came back, you know, he put his stuff in his bag and all that stuff. He was like, hot boots. And I was just looking, I was just like, I mean, to him, he and I felt bad because he was comfortable. Like, he was comfortable. Like, I guess he felt like, you know, he opened up, you know, I'm not judging. Which I'm not judging in a way, not purposely, but, you know, I'm not, it's not that I was judging. It's just, if shit doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Like, okay, so this is what he, we started to go back at it. And, and it was just like this little, like when we was trying to make out, I didn't want to like kiss it anymore because it was like a little stench. So I'm just like, you know, like give me head, whatever, you give me head. And the whole time you're giving me head, I'm thinking about crack juice on my shit. So I'm just like, it, it, to each his own. You know, if you do crack, that's your business. Um, I hope you do better and put it away because it's not good for you. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's just, it was just the thoughts. It was a lot of it, you know, he wanted me to top him and I couldn't get up. Like I couldn't and it ruined everything. Like it ruined, it ruined the whole experience. Like I didn't get, I mean, I did penetrate, you know, but it was, it just limped in, inside, like, and I think he's seen it in my face that I was over it. Like, I was completely over it. It just took me out, and I felt bad.
I felt bad because something that I was waiting for for so, 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 so long crumbled in that instant and that quick. Like it was even going good even when we linked back up. But in that instant, in cr instant, it crumbled so quick. And when I'm over it, I'm over it. Anybody that fucked with me and know me knows that. When I'm over it, I'm over it. It just, it was not happening. You was getting straight up gummy worm. Like, straight up. It wasn't. It wasn't giving, bro. I let him know. I told him I was nervous, like, because, you know, I see you. You was like, you know, you're my friend. Like, we were so close and everything. So, us being in this position, maybe it's just not. Maybe I need to get more used to it and everything. That wasn't it. You know, we haven't spoke since. I, I, I didn't hit him up. I respect him, you know, and everything, but um, he winded up um, marrying because he was already with the girl, but they weren't together. They was on a, they was on a split. I remember because I remember seeing posts. They were on a split. I thought they were just broken up for good, but probably like a year later or a few months later, I think I seen them back together again. And now I believe they're married with children now. So I don't know what he does now. That could have just, like I said, could have been just a fling for that moment. Uh, well, I can't say a fling because he had other girls before me. But I mean, that moment in time of his life, you know, because some people, they get married, they have their kids and then they live. I know of so many people, they do what they do. And then once they get married with kids, all that life is behind them which is understandable, but that's why I don't mess with the L guys because I'm not going to be just your little experiment. I'm not going to be your situation in the past. Like, um, that, that's just not me. That's, that's, no. But yeah, so after, you know, I let him go from there, you know, after he put his stuff on, we, we it was too awkward. He had to leave, like... <laughs> We haven't spoke since. That was it. It'll ruin a friendship. It's crazy. Like I said in another video, it's, it's crazy how people could be so good and popular and all that stuff in school. And then, we, I mean, he's doing good now. I, I, I think he's doing good now. He, he, I think he is doing good now. Like, I'm not gonna say he's doing bad. I, from the last time I seen, he was doing good. He was married. They living together, they had this whole cute ceremony. Um, yeah. So I, I would never like just jump in and you know say anything on that. No. But yeah, that was that. And, uh, 43 in me. <laughs> I thought about 23 in me. That's a 43 and me. Shouts out to Benny. Benny is the one that told me about 23 and me, which I gotta still look up. But yeah. That was the second person <laughs> in the 43 trilogy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that story. If you had any experiences with your close friends from school, how did that turn out? If you, you know, in the future. Uh, let me know your comments about the situation, your opinions. Let's get the discussion started. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell and tune in to part three of the trilogy. Yeah.